here we got a PT100, uh, ASV PT100, same undercarriage as an RC100. I'm using it for mastication. Uh, I found on the RC100, which we had earlier, and on the PT100s, they have a tendency of breaking the track frames in the center. I'm not sure if I'm just hard on them or if it's the kind of ground that I work, but they have a tendency of cracking in. There's behind here is a notch for these axles to ride in, and they, it's a weak point, and it just starts cracking up from there. And then it cracks, you can actually see, I think, a crack. There might be a scratch or a crack right up in there, but it's been welded here once. This plate I welded on. Um, now it's starting to crack in back here. <laughs> So, it's a weak spot. I've had it happen to uh, three different sex sets of track frames. Um, so, it's just a weakness that always keeps happening. So, I decided to upgrade it. Um, one of the things, I already gutted the, uh, the track frames, but they have a, a tube that's run through them all the way in to end, and it's a pretty thin walled tube, actually. Um, if I remember right, is maybe 3 sixteenths. As you can see, I got a good 3 eighths tube right here. That's what I'm going to run with those track frames. And then uh, the outer plates, the new PT100s, they fully plate them full length. Um, as you can see here, for some extra support. Um, the old RC100s just had plates where the axles were. So, but with these, they're thinner material. And they're just kind of spot welded in here with short spots. Um, so it still allows us it to have some flex. What I did um, on these other track frames is I got, it, they were off an RC100, I got rid of these little plates. And I'm gonna put a piece of half inch T1 steel. The steel right here. So I'm really gonna kind of bulk it up. That other stuff's 3 8 um, And I'm gonna do full length uh, triple pass welds on that, so I'll really get some some good strength and tie that all together. Here's the frame after we gutted it out. Um, you can see gutted out these tubes in here. Um, kind of a bear cat getting all these out. These welds are really really in there. I had to kind of hack them and grind them and hack them, and I ended up actually cutting the plate out here because I messed it up. Um, I'm just going to weld a new one in. That's pretty easy. And there's the outer track frame. Got rid of, uh, you can see some areas where the plates used to run in, like right in here. So, this track frame's actually cracked already. So I've been in here gouging out the cracks, welding them front and back. And then I'm going to clean everything up and put those tubes in and then plate it. Here's the other side of the track frames I've been working on already. Worked on this a while ago. Um, you can see this is where I replace these heavy track, with those heavy tubes that run full length of the track there. And they stiffen it up. Another thing I did is, you know, from the factory, this is fully welded, but like here, they have like inch and a half welds um, here and there. What I did is I went ahead and just fully welded the full length of this, did three passes. Um, the hope there is to just really tie it up together and uh, get the flex out of it. Now, these are what I was talking about where they, they break through. These notches, they're really a big weak point. Um, when you got the flex, you, know, you got these two um, axle points there, and when you're running up over stuff, just put so much weight in here, um, especially when you're running those mastication heads, and you got to go over rocks and stumps and stuff like that, you do your best to be gentle, but it has a tendency of being pretty weak in here. I also think it kind of collects it when you go up and over something with a front wheel or a rear wheel, and you got this just hanging, I think it does some flex in here where it, it, uh, it just starts cracking that out. So that's why the Hope put this heavy weld tube, that'll tighten it up, put that inch and a half full length in here, welded with um, full length beads top and bottom, and I really think it's going to be um, quite a bit stiffer and hold together a bit better. Also, uh, not too worried about it, it's going to add a little extra weight. Uh, bonus with that is it's all going to be down at ground level, so uh, the machine should be able to handle it no problem, um, and it may 
could just increase the stability honestly a little bit by adding a little bit of weight to the bottom there. So here's a good example of what I was talking about. These axles, they kind of, they wall these out a little bit. Um, but here, you can see it is a good example of the cracks that happen right here. They crack up through here. I've seen them crack out this direction through into the frame. Uh, same goes with here. This one could be, I think this one was welded on the other side a while back. Um, but I've seen them crack quite often through up to here. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like I got one started in here. It's a little harder to see. You can see it opening up here, but with some heat, I think you'd see it up and through here. So, that's a, that's an example of, of how weak of a point these are here. So that's what we're hoping to figure out with this plate. Uh, you can see another one right here coming up. Um, I welded it on the back side already. Let's see, was there any others? I thought there was one more up here. I'll have to look through the back side. Welded that one up. I guess there was one here on this side, but it's hard to see it here. So, um, not sure. Maybe it's not cracked clean through. But that's why I'm fixing it up before it's completely busted up.